Not all snow is created equal. Here's the science behind the perfect powder day. If you're lucky enough to find that perfect powder day, snow going over the shoulders, you need a snorkel, you want a videographer along for the ride, it's hard to remember that not all powder days are created equal. One of the most common ways scientists differentiate powder days is through the snow to liquid ratio. The ratio is determined by comparing the depth of new snow to how much water that would actually melt down to. So for example, if you took 20 inches of new fresh snow and melted it down and that was one inch of water, the snow to liquid ratio would be 20 to one. And that is the dreamiest, best powder you could ever hope for. It's light, it explodes into the air, it's a land of face shots. But most snow is not this light. And in fact, 10 to one or even 12 to one snow to liquid ratio is a little bit more common. When we're talking 10 to 1, that means that the snowflakes are more closely packed together and the snow skis a little heavier. Now there are two things that primarily determine the snow to liquid ratio, temperature and wind. Wind stronger than 15 miles an hour can pick up the snowflakes, crash them together, and because of this they lose their pointiness, pack more closely together, and the snow skis a little bit tougher. So when you're drooling over that upcoming powder day, don't forget to check the weather forecast, but not just for snow. Also look for light winds and cold temperatures. Zero to 10 degrees at the summit or higher will get you the perfect powder day. For OnTheSnow.com, I'm meteorologist Joel Gratz.